All right, Dan, do you want to go ahead and get the meeting started? Yeah, unless Ryan's th unless Ryan's taking it tonight. Okay, Diane, roll call, please. All right, Dave Dickinson. I'm here. I'm muted, but I'm here. Dan Colzo. <laughs> I'm here. Don Kiefler. I'm here. I don't see Pat Leach. Brian McCarty is here, but muted, and Rob Riley. Here. Okay. Did uh, everybody get a chance to read, uh, I guess these are January minutes? Any questions, yeah. comments on January minutes? No. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion. Second. Motion by Dawn, second by Dave. Those in favor of the minutes, say aye. 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 Wave. Everybody's good. Those opposed? <laughs> All right, minutes are approved. Okay, is there anybody here that would like to make a public comment? Mr. Mayor? Uh, keep up the good work, and uh, I don't know what your budget's gonna look like next year since gaming is shut down at the moment. Uh, I mean, huge, it's come huge. from gaming, but we will keep adjusting that as uh, Doug has started a finance uh, task force last night at the board meeting to, uh, he's already predicting a 22% drop in revenue based on uh, a bunch of people down at uh, university that are way smarter than I am. So we'll go with that and uh, we'll see what happens. But we are as a board monitoring every expenditure now that has to come to the board uh, to make sure that the money is flowing in uh, because there's some concern that um, the state will be delaying payments for sales tax and other things. So we're kind of keeping an eye on it. Um, but for now, keep plugging as you have been. Uh, I've been going through the minutes every month. Um, good stuff going on. Um, hopefully things will continue to uh, move forward. And I do want to float one idea that you can all discuss and, and let me know what you think. We have this giant hill of dirt sitting next to two baseball fields, uh, which forces everyone to park on the street, to drive on the bike path, to do a lot of things that we don't like. I have asked our public works director to get a price for uh, what it would cost or what we could get for selling that mound of dirt and how much would it cost us to put in a temporary gravel parking lot just in the, in the interim to make those fields a little more accessible but I wanted to run it past the Parks Commission to see if, uh, if you all are in favor of that or would like to do something else there. Um, I think it's gonna be a few years down the road till the police station goes there, if it does go there. And I think we've all talked about our plans there that if there's a paved parking lot, we can put in a little, you know, uh, little snack stand with bathrooms and all that. But in the meantime, if we're three or four years away from that, can we at least get them some relief. I know they're using both fields now. Um, I, I've talked to the, the chairman of the Caneland Travel Baseball. Uh, they would, they'd be very happy if we did that for them. They anticipated 40 to 50 cars. Uh, we would need to probably accommodate at a time, which is what I've asked Phil to price out. But I don't want to go any further if the Park Commission isn't interested and we want to just leave it alone and keep it as it is or uh, Really like your input on that. Uh, I, on the topic of the dirt hill, I have not been in that area in quite a while. It, is it possible to have uh, a parking area and keep part of that dirt hill for like a sled hill until it's time to get rid of it? Is there enough room to have both in there? Yeah, I mean, we own some land to the south that's our land before the school property where we could put the parking area. Problem is, how do you pay for the rocks? It's not in the budget. Um, we're, you know, we're looking at a downturn in income. So my thought was sell the dirt to pay for the rocks. Okay, yeah. But I like the sledding hill idea. I've been pushing that for a few years here in Auburn, but haven't gotten very far with it. I know uh, Lions Park did that private uh, driveway on the west side of their property with the uh, uh, road, uh, road, yeah. Can they? Can you still do that, or is that anti-EPA stuff? You can do it. 
Uh, then if we've got some road projects, see if we can take those grindings and start piling them up over there. At least get a base down with it. I don't know how far you'll get with it, but. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to see a parking lot over there, we can start finding ways to be creative and, and do that. Um, I think, it, I think that also. area is in need of a parking lot or, mm -hmm. of some sort, some parking spaces or something. Yeah, I remember back in the day when we had uh, two or three soccer fields over there as well that the village maintained, you know, back when it first opened. You might be able to bring that back too. Yeah, yeah. And that's just grass cutting. Is this area, this is the area over in Blackberry Creek by the water tower? Correct. Okay. Yes, so. Okay. So, all right, well, that's what I got on that topic. All right, well, we'll see what Phil comes back with dollar-wise. I mean, I, we, we don't have extra money, but if we can find a way to pay for it. Yeah. I mean, maybe you can sell some of the hill and leave enough of a hill for kids, little kids to go on. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Balancing act. See what we can do. Okay. Uh, I'll take it there's no other public comments. Moving on to uh, commissioner projects. Item A is the uh, ice rink, the sign, and the takedown. So... I'd like to thank anybody. I know it's probably Phil and his guys for taking it down and storing it. I'm sure that was a big relief from everybody, you know, that that was done for us. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Phil. Um, after I, I left at the end of January, did you guys get any more rink time out of that after January? There was a little bit. Um, I went up and, and shoveled it um, one time. Um, but there wasn't the greatest winter for for ice. Uh, it, it got to a point where there was been a lot of slush on it and got really bumpy. Mm -hmm. um, there were some kids that um, kept trying to shovel it off, but I didn't see anybody like do any damage to it or anything like that. John, did you, any, did you see anything? I didn't see anything happen. Um... <laughs> One day, there was a guy that wanted to volunteer, and Dan, I think he knew you somehow, some way, secondhand, and he was going to try to get in touch with you for next year to kind of set up a, a snowplow team. I had uh, one, one guy, he's probably the same guy, he contacted me, and uh, long story short, uh, he used to take care of the ice rinks down in Chicago, the public, uh, the uh, park ice rinks in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And he was uh, toying, wanting to know if we had a Zamboni and, and such. So if we had a Zamboni, he was going to help us out. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. him and half the board. I We'd all be out there riding that Zamboni. Yeah, if you could pick the Zamboni up over the walls and put it in, sure. Yeah, so. th this, uh, this guy was a hockey dad, and he, he – had experience with outdoor rinks and, and that sort of thing. So, he had two little kids? Guy. What? He had two little boys? I think they were, I don't know. He might have been the guy I met one time. Older. Could be. The only I didn't have to call the police on anybody since yeah. the last incident, so that's good. So The only, the only problem that I had uh, with the rink this year was uh, that liner was uh, larger then the rink this year was a, a little bit larger. So I had a lot of slack left over and I put those big stones to hold the slack down. And those stones magically found their way inside the rink a couple of times. So I think uh, next year we put that up, I'll have to trim the liner. So I don't line the whole rink with uh, huge rocks that kids can throw in there. So that's about the only negative that I saw this year with it. So uh, we want to think about a sign of some sort. Um, you know, we got uh, we the idea came up late in the season, just never got around to it. But uh, you want to give some thought to a sign. I mean, it's unfortunate we got to put something up that says, you know, don't skate when it's slushy, don't throw rocks, and you know that. Right. Kind of stuff. I think a sign's a good idea just for the liability though alone too. Though. So, mm -hmm. Brian, you were looking into that, weren't you? Yeah, we they, they sent an estimate like last meeting. They had an estimate for that. Last meeting in January or when I was gone? Uh, whenever you think you were gone. Okay. 
And we were we were talked about a red and green like interchangeable thing on the sign too. Yeah. So. Well, I'd still pursue that. Let's not wait till next year if we can get it done. Well, well, it depends on budget. You might need a board and some paint. I don't know. <laughs> well, perhaps that might. You know, we've done that before too. So, uh, do you? You said you you have a uh, proposal for that, Ryan? You actually that, want me to that talk? Was, was <laughs> Ryan or Rob? Rob. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I do. I think I forwarded it to you guys, but I can uh, find it and forward it again. Yeah, was it FX Corp? There's a 371.49. Does that sound yeah. about right? Yeah, it sounds right. A three by four sign with rules. Yep. Did they give you any type of uh, a rough diagram or picture of that? Um, I think you did. I have to go back to the email, but. The only reason why I, I say it, I'd like to, whatever sign we decide on, I'd like to have make sure that there's enough room to add a rule or two a year or two down the road. We want to add up. Oh, well, that makes, yeah, that makes sense. Just, mm -hmm. just leave a little extra space to add another line or two. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. so, other than that, let's, let's get that thing, uh, review that estimate and see what it looks like and let's get that submitted or at least have it in file for next year. I'm sure that probably won't be top priority, but let's not wait till the last minute to get it together. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to go over there with the police again. So. All right. Anything else on the ice rink? No, I still think like a red, red and a green flag would be good. You know, something as simple as that. You know, somebody driving by on 47 sees a red flag or a green flag. At least they know whether or not to, uh, they can skate. Oh. I think yeah, they look at where they look at the sign, but the sign is both. That'll probably be part of the sign, I think, right? Okay. If it's not part of the sign, we'll come up with a red or green flag and stick it next to the sign on the on the okay. fence. We'll make okay. it happen. Right. Is my audio working? All right. Yes. We can okay. have you, Brian. I don't have anything to say. Just notice my audio is working now. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, community center lease update. Uh, lease. It's uh, it's been reviewed by the legal side. Um, it's good to go. Uh, but as uh, the mayor was talking about, uh, I've got a quote. Uh, it was about ten or eleven thousand dollars to design that park. Uh, that park we would also be on our own for a local match. Uh, you know, we're not going to have a developer come in and help with the match and uh, the community center doesn't have a whole lot of money either. So if you're looking at a $500,000 park, you're looking at a $250,000 match. Mm -hmm. And with the recent developments of you know, the lack of revenue, I don't think uh, that would be something we'd want to go forward with this year. Yeah, no, I think that would be uh, pretty understandable. I think the village would understand putting that one on the back burner. But uh, we, we have the uh, lease agreement is uh, we can put that in, in a file and hang on yep. to that. Yep. And that's not executed yet, is it? It is not. Okay. Uh, and cool. also the lease was predicated on us getting the Oslad grant. So if we didn't get the grant, then the lease was null and void. Correct. So I would say we just take that, that whole uh, subject and stick it in a file for right now. We've, we've got the, the leases ready to go. We'll dust that off when uh, when the uh, conditions are more favorable and we'll take it from there any uh any arguments com uh, comments about that yay nay sounds good okay sense. put it in a file john filed okay uh elburn station update yeah there's a couple of things going on with that uh the um, construction went out to bid and the low bidder came in at, I believe it was $921,000. The, uh, we only got two, the other one was about a million one. And uh, we were expecting to have about five or six bidders. So keep in mind that we've got a $400,000 grant, we've got three entities splitting the other half. So, um, and that doesn't include any of the park equipment. 
it's not included in the bid because we're getting there from a separate vendor. So that means that their park now would be up around a million dollars. So there's about $200,000 that's short. Um, and throw on top of that, we've spent about $80,000 already with Hitchcock for design and, and engineering and, and all that other fun stuff. Um, so when the bids come in, they need to come in in the low 600s to keep it under budget, to keep it under that $800,000. Um, I don't know if that can be done. We will see. Um, we've already tried to, to value engineer the heck out of it, and I just don't know if there's anything left in there to squeeze out of it. Um, you know, we can't start dropping off amenities because then we don't qualify for the Oslo. Because you guys remember, we've got to have those five amenities. We've got to have this, we've got to have that. Um, so Wolf will know a lot more when that bid comes in. Hopefully they're a lot more competitive, but that means that that low bid's got to be lower by almost a third us under budget. Mm -hmm. um, what's the, uh, when do you expect that, that last bid to come in? Yeah, I knew you were going to ask me that. I've got it in an email. I can send it out for everybody. Uh, I got it here, John. I mean, that's just did not you, Did you have it, Jeff? Yep, I can get right to it here. Is it, a, is it an option once that bid comes in, if it doesn't work, you just not accept any of them and send it back out for rebid? Well, that's what we're doing now. So we're already on the rebid? We, we, right, this will be the rebid. This will be the second uh, bid. Okay. Bid opening is May 20th with uh, recommendations to the park board on May 27th in the park board packet okay. for June 1st approval. So if we wind up, worst case scenario, the, it's, it's over budget and we can't do it, okay? So the village is out a grant and we're out the uh, fees to Hitchcock. Right. And, and uh, that's about the only expense right now, right, Hitchcock? Right, it's Hitchcock and they've paid other people for us. Okay, and then we can still split that fee uh, between uh, the three parties, right? Right, they're right. And they've been paying their way, you know, we, we pay the bills and then we bill Shodin in the township. Right, right. so again, it, 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 the current situation, we might not have another, we might not have any choice. We might not be able to go through with it. Right. And then we'll uh, I did send an email off to the township supervisor today, Esther Steele, asking her, you know, what if, you know, does the township have money to come, you know, extra money if it comes in over, um, you know, I, like Jeff was talking before, I don't know what kind of money we're going to have to go over and above that, if any. Can we... Uh... Can we contact the uh, people at the state and see if they can extend our time frame on the grant? Uh, we can, yeah. I think I somebody did, didn't they, from Hitchcock, and they haven't been able to get an answer back. Didn't I read that in one of the emails? I think yeah, Joe um, did. Yeah, you're right. Um, can't remember her name. And the, the response was, they don't know. Yeah, I did not receive a, a reply. Okay. All right, well, we, we'll just wait and see what comes in and take it from there. So, anybody else on that uh, topic? No. Nope. No, nope. wait, and, wait and see, and uh, we, we might have to ax that project too. We'll see. Yeah, that, that would be horrible to do that. Um, can we at what we would wouldn't we be have, eligible for an Oslaid grant for two years? Yeah. Yeah, I think the board of tax we need to go back to the engineers and say, hey, look, you know, here's the budget, here's what these people are coming in at. How can we meet the Oslaid grant and still do something and get something going? I I kind of I fired off an email last night to the engineering firm, and I, I'm sure I ruffled quite a few feathers. You know, it's how, how can we be this far off? 
It's really right. disappointing that these engineers sit back and cost something out and then the bids come in just so incredibly over what they expected. Um, of course, they only got two out of the five bids, so who knows, maybe they'll get some better bids, but hopefully. We'll see. And Jeff, I think it was Hitchcock that, um, that cost it out, not, uh, not WT and not EEI. Yeah, I think that's why Joe's feathers were so ruffled. I don't know if you saw his email back to me this morning, but he was he was a no. bit snippy. But uh, no. so was I. So hey, you know, and and the, you know that that's fine, um, because I've sent him a, a, a couple of emails recently, going, you know, how how can you be so f not necessarily him? How can you be so, you know? Why are the bids so far off? You know what's what's missing from this? And I'm already telling him that you know I. I have grave concerns with this project going forward. Yeah, I, I mean, I, when we see it from our engineer, the village engineer, it's usually everything's below their estimates. You know, they tend to estimate on the high side, but I, this, this is just ridiculously low. So I, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. you're right, uh, Dan, it's wait and see. We'll see what the rebids come back in and if there's a way to redesign something to still make this go forward, meet the criteria to keep the money. I hate to lose, you know, eight hundred thousand oh, yeah. dollars. Part of it's ours, but you know, all in all, and not do anything, and then be stuck with two years of not being able to apply for another grant. Right, right. Well, maybe by this is all said and done, that uh, our two years is going to be up. I, I don't know what they what they measure the two years from. It's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. All right, on to the next one. Uh, Elburn Station Park name. I saw that uh, email you sent out, John, about the uh, naming parks. Right, right. I, I, I like what you sent. It seems to be pretty basic and covers the bases. Gives us a groundwork to when someone wants to come up with a name or something. Um, yeah, I just I just thought that we should have you know some guidelines to go by, um, and I can't remember if it was stolen from Geneva or St. Charles. Um, but it was, you know, fairly broad, but it, it met the needs of the criteria of how you go about naming a park. Uh, and this came up because, uh, you know, already the, the Elburn Station Park has about two or three names, you know, the Liberty Kesslinger Park or the Kesslinger Park or Elburn Station Unit 2 Park or the Oslad Park. And, you know, probably ought to just try to memorialize something and say, no, this is the name. This is the way it is going forward. Um, you know, and if we want to do something with donors in the, you know, in the future going, uh, you know, it's um, Joe Smith baseball field at Elburn Station or whatever, we can still do that as well. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we probably ought to come up with a name here pretty soon. Yeah. Um, do you guys have any ideas on that? I mean, I, I haven't been to all the meetings. Has something been proposed for a name? I, I thought it we... was Elburn Station. I thought that was the name of it, so... Yeah, I, I think most of us have been calling it Elburn Station Park. It's just pretty generic. Yeah. You can leave it open. My for, thought on it would be Elburn Station Community Park because it really is more community and get across it. It's not just Elburn Station and it's Blackberry Township and it's the village of Elburn. Yeah, how about Elburn Station Blackberry Community Park to kind of memorialize the township's participation in this? That's a mouthful. <laughs> yes. I, I kind of like to get Blackberry in there somehow. You know, they're they're they didn't have to do this. That's right. true. Well, if it fits on the sign, I I like it. And Blackberry is a big word. We live in <laughs> in the township. Uh, all right, we'll have to. Elburn Blackberry Town, Elburn and Blackberry Township. We don't have to say township, but just Elburn Blackberry or Community Park. Uh, I think you might have to have township in there because then they'll people will start saying, you know, why does the Blackberry subdivision get a park named after itself? Right. Point. You leave the station in there, Elburn Station, Blackberry Community Park. Hmm. Have to see. I don't know if we're going to come up with a name on the spot, but we'll have to. Uh, yeah, something we'll to think over. Just want to give credit where credit is due if we can. Yep, absolutely. Figure a way to get it in there. Um, Blackberry. All right. 
All right. So everybody think about that. And uh, if you get a brainstorm, uh, shoot an email off to John. All right. Uh, summer program ideas. I know Pat was supposed to be looking up movies. Uh, some, somebody that provides movies in the park. Uh, yeah, we were going to ask on Facebook, but like with everything going on, I don't know if a lot, there's going to be a lot of gatherings this summer. Mike still asked. Yeah. I think your video froze, Dan. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, I can see you. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty right now, and a lot of stuff is just going to be on hold. And I think the, uh, I'm sure the committee is aware of it, and the, the Village residents are going to be understanding that nothing's happening right now. They got to realize that, you know, the parks are going to be a lower priority right now. You know, we'll do what we can, but uh, as far as expanding, uh, this is not looking like a good year for that. So uh, we'll keep, uh, let's not uh, totally toss that summer programs in the trash bin just yet. Let's keep. Keep something in the back of your mind. If we do get the green light to do public gatherings again, and it's August or, you know, we, maybe we squeeze one out in August or September or something like that. Who knows? Yeah. Well, I'm hoping for August. We're yeah. meeting about the race tonight. So we'll see. Yeah. Let's keep it in the back of your mind. It doesn't, doesn't hurt to keep thinking about that stuff. Keep looking into it. Uh, the uh, bridge, Prairie Park Bridge, are we getting anywhere with that, John? I uh, talked with Phil this morning about that. The uh, the culverts are curing. He thinks he's actually going to get started on it later this week. Awesome. Great. Good. Good deal. Are we going to, are there going to be, uh, there's got to be some type of a guardrail on across that thing, isn't there? Uh, I believe so. Uh, Diane, do you remember? Yeah, uh, Phil has some ideas as far as guardrail, and he at one point even was thinking about a covered bridge to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing, but uh, I don't know for sure what he's got in mind. Okay. Bridges of Elburn Township. <laughs> there we are. Is Phil going to paint it every year? <laughs> yeah, every year, it'd be more than that with all the graffiti that's going to get put on it. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's good news. That's uh, you know still a, a visible sign that stuff is getting done around yeah. here. Um, there's also an opportunity that the uh, table can come down and remove a lot of the concrete um, that was in the budget this year or this coming year, starting May one. Um, you know, maybe if there's one project that gets done, maybe that's the one. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's. It's long due overdue. Right. So, all right. All right. So, uh, any other projects anybody wants to talk about? Well, I just saw the shelter up at um, Elliott Family Park. Yeah, it's a nice, nice job. Yeah. Or in that, yeah. Well, we did budget to do another pavilion at the dead end of Patriot for, I think, 15000 And that John guy did go and measure it out and said, that space would be ideal for a 17 by 17 pad, not a 20 by 20, because uh, the lumber actually, I think, comes in 17 feet. So we need to, a little forethought if we do a pad to make it 17 feet. Is that, okay. cost. Is that over in Oak Park? Correct. Okay. What about doing uh, something like that over a prairie park instead? It would keep it under 15, he said, minus the concrete work. Yeah, that's a good idea, John. If we were to, is that, uh, that gazebo over at uh, Oak Park, is that all on the uh, village, Brian, or is the HOA got something in that too? Well, ironically, I'm glad the mayor's on here. I kind of brought it up already. <laughs> so uh, I think it's, uh, I think I could probably get a third again raise and the HOA and then the, then the village. So 
But right now in our budget, we put 15,000 was all on the village. Our budget that's not approved yet. Right. So well, the budget's but, approved. We're just watching the spend based on the income. It, you guys got your budget approved two weeks okay. ago at the board meeting. All right. The, re the reason why I ask about the HOA is John has a good point if I caught it, that if, if we wind up taking the pavilion down at Prairie Park, there's nothing there. Oak Park has a lot of trees. They'll live without a pavilion for a little longer. But we can't take a planned pavilion and move it to the other side of town if the HOA has skin in the game. That's why I asked. So if the, think, uh, if the Prairie Park Pavilion comes down, maybe we uh, look at putting a pavilion over there at Prairie Park. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> I, I, hey, I'm, yeah, we need to do something on the north side. I mean, I know I don't vote on this particular commission here, but I've been pushing right. John for a while. We, gotta, you know, we can't spend all the money on the south side of the town, you know, we gotta show that we're doing something up there. And if we're turning that pavilion out, and if it's already in the budget for fifteen thousand to put it up, you know, and especially since cool. how we're not going to do anything over at the uh, at the community center, you know, we could take our our resources and pour it into you know, if we're going to do something at, at the community center, we're going to do something in Blackberry, and if we don't have enough money to do all of that why not put it into one location at Prairie Park? It's on the north side. It serves people over there as well. And it shows them that we're sprucing up what we have already. So yeah. Yeah. idea. Yeah. It's not under that pavilion, you know, so. I went under that pavilion at, at Prairie Park not too long ago. It didn't look like it was that bad, but if you take the concrete out, obviously that there's no way of saving the pavilion. The, the problem with the pavilion is it's in shape, but it is heaved so much. And there's uh, so many voids underneath the concrete. We don't know what those, uh, what the piers look like. Okay. I think the piers are actually sinking. Uh, it appeared to me that the pavilion was, seemed solid, but the piers and the concrete sunk and pulled away from the, mm. the pavilion. Either way, it's got to come down. I don't see it being worth taking apart in pieces. A lot of times that's a lot more work trying yeah, to save it in pieces to put it back. What, six, six piers on that one, I think? Yeah. Yeah, that might be, uh, six eight by eights might be more work than it's, that's it's $15,000 just replace the, the six eight by eights and, and trying to hold that thing up while you're working on it. Yeah, no, just start over. Brian, you, we got a, the bid for the pavilion was a 15, 15 by 15, by 15 did you say? Yeah, it's actually, well, I didn't get a bid. John, John and I went over there. We found where we would put it without having to cut down trees. Mm -hmm. And he suggested because of the length of lumber that we do 17 by 17. And he could do that in the 15 grand budget? Right, not including any concrete. Is that a good size for Prairie Park or do we need to go a little bigger at Prairie Park? No. I, 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 20, the one we did is enormous. It's big. It holds four picnic tables comfortably. So the next one, we could easily do three picnic tables at the other one, too. How big is the one at Elliott? 20 by 20. Oh, yeah. 17 by 17 is plenty size. size. People use those picnic tables all the time, so, I mean... I don't want to lose any of them. If we, if we can gain one, it'd be great too. I don't know that it would be all that much more for a little bigger shelter. I mean, if we're putting everything into one park this year, why don't we do that? Why don't we take a look and see, just walk out to the park someday and see what a uh, 17 by 17, how much area that would cover out there. And then maybe eyeball a larger one and let's see how much a larger one costs. And then we'll choose between the two of them. We'll give the we'll give the uh, board an option. You know, here's here's how much for a, a 17 square or whatever, and here's how much for a 20 square. We prefer the 20, but here's two prices, and we'll let the we'll let the village pick it. So we just give them options. So I'll, I would, John, I'd like to 
I'd like to uh, go with that idea, uh, table, table the pavilion at Oak Park and let's um, focus on a pavilion over at uh, Prairie Park, provided obviously that that pavilion comes down. So. All right, well, I'll take my tape measure on my uh, Corona walk tomorrow and see what it looks like. <laughs> well, speaking of Prairie Park, um, is it possible to um, turn on the dog fountain? I mean, I don't know about the other fountains if they're allowed to, but maybe just the dog fountain. Is there already one out there? Yeah, you um, got to turn it on, though. I'm, I'm sure Diane will write up a work request for that, right? Yes, I can do that. Do we want to do that with the corona going on? Well, I think it's just the a drinking fountain? Dog fountain to start with. Because it's, a, it's can we just do the dog fountain? Isn't it the I, drinking I and the dog? I'll I'll talk to Phil cover. tomorrow. It has two different covers. I don't know. Well, hopefully nobody would drink out of the dog fountain, but <laughs> that's <a> desperate. <laughs> All right. Um, anybody else have anything for projects, ideas? I just had on the agenda the sidewalk, the striping. Yes. Uh, I've been pushing that for like two years. Hopefully we get it soon. Phil will do that. We're waiting for it to warm up. I got a can of spray paint for you, Brian. Uh, this is not me talking. You know, you have two, two families with uh, special needs children right there and I promised them last year it would get done. And now they're approaching me again. And I said, it is absolutely gonna be done. So that's why I bring it up again. We put our, our word out there that this is gonna be done. I'm sure Diane is noting that you, you brought up the issue in strongest terms. <laughs> Make sure you put that in there, Diane, strongest terms. I think Phil already has the signs because if we do striping, we also have to have signs. Right. And I know he was looking into the striping very recently. The sign being uh, a crosswalk? Children at play or playground, something like that. Don't run over the kids sign. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a sign uh, crosswalk ahead and then you've got to have another sign to say, hey, the crosswalk is right here. So it, it has to be properly signed um so so where's this crosswalk going at elliott park and there a crosswalk there already it's uh, not Bennett? going across uh blackberry it, it was on the side streets but not on blackberry it's not These on Sauters just... either or the other not Sauters, the other side of lakin there's one John, these are just static signs they're not uh solar powered uh crosswalk no, static. Just the, the big yellow squares, diamonds. Like the ones downtown, kind of the new yes. ones. Yes. All right. So we'll get that. We'll get that in this year. As soon as the weather breaks. All right, vacancy. We have a vacancy on the board. I understand. Mr. Mayor, what are we doing about that? We've asked for applications, and I'll ask John how many we've got so far. Zero. Zero. My friend doesn't fly. Anyone that wants to be on the park commission, do we get one for planning? There's just the one guy, right? Just the one guy. So we've asked. We've we've reached out for planning commission and park commission, and got one application. My my one friend really wants park app uh, on parks commission, but I think he might have filled out the planning commission though online. I don't know. I haven't seen anything. What's his name? Uh, Bill Ott. No. He's been at some of our meetings. I'll tell him the. I'll talk to him tonight. Yeah, oh. Give me his phone number. I'll call him, and, and he's on. I mean, if nobody else is applying, let's get it done. Okay. Do yeah, he's definitely interested. He's, he lives in Auburn Station too, so. I mean, he still needs to do an application just so we have a record right. of it. But you know. did word yeah, get he up? Definitely wants to be. Did we advertise this just on the uh, village webpage, or did it go out in print? Went out Facebook. on the Facebook page, and I, I copied it onto the BlackBerry page, and it got sent all over. Okay. Okay. I, I do have a guy that's interested in a uh, a coach. He does uh, intramural coaching. He's interested in being on the on the board too. I'll 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 get with him and fill out an app. Good. 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 All right. 
Is there uh, any other business to come before the committee? Can I ask about the weeds again? Is that going to happen? Or I know you said um, something about the budget. I did. It was included in the budget. It is. I didn't talk to I didn't talk to Phil yet this year, this, this season. I, I talked to him, you know, during the winter. Okay. But, uh, I'll I'll stop in and well, I can't just pop in anymore. I'll send him a text. Okay. And, uh, see what he's got in mind for that. He signed a contract with. Um, I think it's True, True Green. Green to okay. do, you know, multiple parks. And I know that's signed and we're under contract for that. So they're going to spray. Does that, does that contract cover the play equipment area? Yes. Good. I think Good. that's pretty much all that True Green is doing is the playgrounds because we've got somebody else that does, you know, like the grass at Village Hall and different parks. Okay. Thank you. Um, will you uh, will will they submit uh, a hazardous material list to the village on what they're putting on that ground? I think that Phil covered all of that before he signed the contract, and I don't remember what the plan is when they put the application down. If they'll put a sign up or something, but. Um, I know that Phil already talked to him about that before, that it wouldn't be like really strong toxic stuff, but would do the job, especially with all those um, thistles. Yeah. All right. Phil's all over it. Good man. Sounds good. Okay. So, John, question. Diane, do you know where the door is for the little library at Elliott Park? No. Um, I do remember a while back someone reporting vandalism that it was I hanging or something, but I don't know. I'd have I to. I think Phil went and picked it up from somebody had it on their front porch, and either the police or Phil went and picked it up that night. So it's, okay. it's somewhere within the confines of the village. I have no problem picking that up and fixing it and reattaching it. I thought that was done already. It's not done. No. Books are gone. And I was just putting that sign back up the other day. I didn't even look. <laughs> is, uh, is the uh, Dirt Hill, is Heritage Park, is that all squared away? That's it's all seated. It, it's been we smoothed out and seated. That's great. Good. So we know what to tell the people when they ask us. All right. Any other well, business? One, it's not exactly parks, but John, I noticed on the south side of Blackberry, there are those two ponds, retention ponds. There's a lot of brush taken out of there. Mm -hmm. um, are, are those are those ponds accessible? Other than there's uh, there's the walking path on the on the north side of them, and that's it, or the bike path. There's also a path on the uh, southeast side. Okay. And and off, Phil's off plan of, uh, is by to, the school. Phil's plan is to chip all the stuff they've cut down. And just make a wood chip path between the two so you can go all the way around the pond on a wood chip path. Okay. That way he doesn't have to worry about hauling the chips out of there. They can just make a nice little path with what's there and turn that into more of a usable nature area. Yeah, because in the past it was just kind of overgrown. It was really, really, really thick back in there, uh, especially the ones that are closer to the, I guess, to the east towards the golf course. I think the HOA maintains the one that goes down the hill and they cut just to the gate. They don't go past the old gate that was put up a okay. while back. Uh, the one that goes along the pond is fine. Uh, there's nothing between the ponds right now, though. There was there was never anything there, but that's where yeah. the pass will go. You'll be able to go all the way around um, both the, the smaller, the, the less deep pond back towards Blackberry Creek Drive. Yeah, I just discovered them when I was on a stroll one day, so I was five mile stroll. I was gonna say, yeah, it's a big stroll. Yeah, it was a long <laughs> way. <laughs> All right, is there any other business going once? Um, just real quick, since Amy's leaving, does anyone else wanna be, she's the second admin for the Facebook page. So you don't have to do anything, but it'd be nice to have another admin. Um, so if anybody wants to be another admin, let me know. I will. Okay. I'll add you. All right, thanks. Good job, Don. <laughs>
All right. Any other business? Going once. Going no twice. It's a motion. Your second. Second. Thank you. <laughs> Those in favor? Aye. 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 We're done. Thank you. Thank all you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Be safe. See you, Mr. Mayor. See ya. Paige, how do I turn it off? I don't know how to.